Setting up a voiceover track in DaVinci Resolve is quite straightforward. You just need to set up your inputs so that DaVinci Resolve knows where to route your mic to. This is a typical scenario, just a very basic, some two clips with some audio on, but no vocals. So I might want to talk over those or something. Go to Fairlight in the bottom, and here's the audio track from the video clip and I want to add an audio track that I'm going to use for my vocal. In this case, I'm going to add a uh, stereo track. You may, of course, choose a mono track as it's for uh, vocal. So now we have our second audio track. You'll see it appear, in, appear here in your mixer. If it doesn't, make sure you just drag out this handle here just to, you know, because otherwise it can end up hidden. I think it's only if you've got three or more that it does that, but just watch out for that anyway. And now go down to your input area here and you'll see that it says no input. So we need to choose an input to be able to record, otherwise the record button here doesn't do anything. If you click on it, it just doesn't do anything. So I'm going to click on input and select input here and that opens up my patch input output window. And on the right hand side, I have the track input. So this is the track I want to route the audio through to. And here I have my audio inputs. So my mic, presumably it would be in this case. In my particular setup, it's a little bit different, but you know, here you are essentially choosing the audio source that would be your microphone. These are selected by just clicking on them like this. You can just sort of toggle them on and off with a left click, or you can select multiples like that. So what I'm gonna do is say I want to route this here, which is my microphone source, through to these two, so the audio left and right, and then I just do a simple patch, and now I have something routed through to audio two left and audio two right. So I can close that window down now, and you'll see that when I click record, I actually have the ability to record. Now this is playing through on my monitor speakers now, so that's a, a little bit weird. Uh, but hopefully you can hear what I'm doing there. You get levels. I'm going to turn that off um, briefly because, uh, yeah, you get your levels there and you can record uh, in you know any normal way. So uh, if I just press record there and start recording, click record, start recording like that. One, two, one, two, one, two, ba, 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 ba. I now have a track with my vocal in. Easy as that. However, there are two limitations in DaVinci. Firstly, DaVinci Resolve works seems to work natively in 48K, and it doesn't seem to be able to change from that. It doesn't even seem to be able to cope with anything else. You can, in, you can put files in that are different sample rates. So you can put in, for example, music that's 44.1 or 96 or something like that. But as far as actually recording audio directly in like this, you have to make sure that your input source is set to 48K. Not everything is, because a lot of the work I do on my computer is for audio production stuff, and therefore I'm working generally at 44.1, sometimes 88.2, 176, but it's not going to be your kind of 48 and 96, that, or the 48 that video tends to work with. So I've had to go in and make various changes. If I just show you that section in Windows, you'll be familiar with where it is in Windows. Uh, here's the audio section here in the recording Part, and this would be your microphone. In my case, it's my input on my mixer on my RME Fireface. If you right click on there and go to properties and advanced, you'll see that this has to be set to 48K. I have to do that in my sound card hardware. I'll set that to 48K and every all other bits of software have to match that. Otherwise, it can easily get pulled back to another source. So if you're using any kind of um, processing or any other software while you're using DaVinci, make sure that that software hasn't switched it back to another sample rate because software will do that. It's all got to tally up and it's all got to be 48K. It's a pain in the backside because I just don't always want to work in 48K. But DaVinci does and most video stuff does, so you can kind of see where they're coming from. The only other thing is that I can only select one default WDM device here in Windows. My RME Fireface will support many, many different devices and they can all be routed in whichever way I want, exactly in the same way as I could if I was using an ASIO setup. But DaVinci Resolve doesn't support ASIO because they're not going to because they support Fairlight and the two are not the same. So they, have, they provide no ASIO support 
As such, they do provide WDM support, so Windows Audio support, but I can only select this one device. I can only select the one that's the default. If I want to make it a different device, I have to change it. I have to change my default. You have to click and set as default device. That's why when I go into my input window here, I have all these listed. It can see them all, but the only ones I can actually work with are these two that are highlighted. Not very good, very limiting, not really the way I would ever want to do it. I'd probably just record the audio somewhere in a different program altogether, maybe use Premiere for it where I can actually use ASIO. But, you know, you've got to know about these things so you can find ways to work around them. So there we go. That's how to record a voiceover track in DaVinci Resolve and also two major limitations that you need to watch out for. Thanks very much for watching. Hope this is helpful and I'll speak to you soon.